So Hyde to begin the day, leading off against Lafeu. Rockets this one to left. Wene on the move makes the grab for the first down on the first pitch. I think that's three games in a row we've seen somebody swinging on the first pitch from the opposition. Payoff. Just misses on the outside corner, and Georgetown has the number two guy aboard. Cutter. Corner goes. Throw down from Ballestero, who takes a hop and essays easily in the second. Speak the batters up sometimes too, right? This is drilled in a right. That'll take a hop, and that'll score Eze. Slides in. Georgetown draws first blood. 0-2 hole for Carpalotti. Swings at this, and he'll drop it into left. So back-to-back -back base knocks, and two aboard for Georgetown with just one gone. Now make it three strikeouts. Lafuse first of the day. And he misses to load the bases. Throw it with your natural delivery. 2-0. Popped in his shallow center. Everyone called off it by the center fielder King. That'll do it for the first in outlet getting the start. He threw a four-out save on Saturday. And the first pitch hits Houston in the calf. Probably one of the last spots he's going to get hit, right? That stays fair as it trickles down the third baseline. And now into the corner. It's going to score Houston. And it's a stand-up RBI double from Adam Tellier. Depends on the pitcher. Well, they'll walk him anyways. It's an unorthodox walk. Today we'll get into. 2-2. Two -two. Got him swinging. Big strikeout there from Catlett. Load the bases. Gives this one a ride into right center. It's hanging up. Smith makes the grab on the move and keeps Georgetown on the level playing field. Puts a good charge into this in a center. Smith is ranging back and over the batter's eye. Jack Wene continues his hot streak at the dish. Well, that is very impressive power in this ballpark when you go straight away over the batter's eye. That's big boy country. 290 a season ago. This season it's been a bit rockier, and he goes down on three straight pitches. Over the ballpark early. Sent Fekita first after drilling him in the back. Walked just four batters in two outings. Here's the payoff. We'll add another walk to that ledger as there's two on. Narrow your selection down. Instead, it's off the inside of the bat and it drops down the right field line. Scores Ficka. Sliding into second. He's in there and it's a double which ties this ball game. Right hander on deck. Payoff through the gap and left. Carpalotti scores and Georgetown back in front. Three two is hit hard in the left. Ranging towards the wall is Wene. It'll clear the wall. A salami for Joe Hollerbeck. And a three run shot gives Georgetown full control. A high fastball, upper upper part of the strike zone, a little bit inside, and he took it over the fence. Payoff. Got him swinging and a much needed strikeout for Shinovsky. Good off speed pitch. The previous series against Dayton. Floated into right. Grab made routinely by Reinish and that'll do it. But Georgetown empties the diamond. 2 2. Line to left and it drops for a base knock to begin the fourth. And it wasn't hit as hard as the home run. It was still hit pretty firmly. Katz is down on strikes. Tom Walter, the Georgetown Winston-Salem Regional. So full circle in circuitous fashion. Georgetown looking at time two. Classic 6-4, three to end the inning. Began to develop as a power hitter over the course of his final few seasons there. 
He will not get a chance to display that as he takes a ball to the legs and another leadoff base runner for the Hoyas. One, two. Well, this time they get him on strikes. Really good looking pitch from Ray. Nine career home runs. Tries to find the gap. Excellent play at second. And they get the lead runner. How about that from Hawk? That's just an amazing play. It's a great play by Hawk in the first place to go out there and get it. Makes a little flip, a blind type of flip. And Merrick Houston is able to stretch his frame out and come up with the catch. That ball comes out of the glove, wide of the base, and Merrick Houston somehow manages to get a toe on. Big pitch here for Wake. Ray Rears caught him looking. Big time strikeout. Popped in a shallow center. Multiple people giving chase and it drops. Right between Rowling and Smith. If you have him outside the top five, you're sorely mistaken. Walk him on five pitches. This is looping into right. Tilts towards foul ground. The catch is made. As Tellier will tag up into third. So sack fly into foul ground. He needs to score in this inning. They'll do just that. Opposite field from Reinish. It'll drive home Tellier. And the Deeks trim the lead to three. Yeah, you got to put the pressure on. Payoff. Well, he gets a piece of Ballestero there, and they'll load the bases. Potential go-ahead run stands at the dish. Hawk puts a charge into it in the right center. Hyde on the move, makes the grab. Kurtz will score, and the sack fly trims the lead to two. 3-0. That'll load the bases once more. Yeah, you know, and then it's tough to get back up there because you just lost your footing. Payoff pitch here in the fifth. Misses outside. Wake walks home a run. It'll score Reinish, and the Deeks have put three on the board here in the home half. Will play his last time up. Grounds this one to short. As they fumbles it, throw to first. Not in time, and a tying run across for Wake Forest. Now Tellier bloops this over to the pitcher, and Jansen will retire it to keep Georgetown on level playing field. 2-2. Two -two. Kurtz lines this in a center. It'll drop at the wall. Stand up double for Kurtz to begin the sixth. <laughs> Here's Seaver King. Sack fly his last time up. Charges this to right center. Hangs up a bit much for Hyde. Kurtz trying to tag up in the third. The throw down is a beat late, and Wake's got a runner 90 feet from the plate. Aggressive, gutsy move by Kurtz. Chops this down the first baseline. It stays fair. Kurtz scores. Reinish wheels in the second. An RBI double to give Wake the lead. And another nod to the noggin for a Wake Forest hitter that checks in at second base. Yeah. Played in one here in the sixth, and now Ballestero has been hit for the third time today. Two on one gun. Launches this in a right. It's hanging back at the track. Hyde makes the catch. Tagging will be Reinish. She is in there standing up to third. To Jack Winnay. Golfs this in a right, and it drops. Reinish scores. Ballestero in the third, and an RBI single from Winnay to continue his hot streak. Payoff to Morales. Hard hit to second. Issues fielding it. The throw is off the mark. Another run scores for Wake. Dallas Darrell across home. The Deeks, their largest lead of the night. Full control of the game so far. Houston launches it in the center. The grab is made by Smith on the move, and that does it for the inning. He's put down on three pitches. Don't count. It was only a matter of inches from clearing the fence. It was. Smith walked, so that's the first base runner Gunther's allowed. The program says it's in large part due to all the stars he has on that staff. That may have gotten a piece of Holler back. 
Caster takes a free base. They're now loaded for Georgetown. Savoy finds the gap. Smith scores. They will park Holler back at third, but Georgetown's on the board here in the seventh. Run sixth for a comeback against FDU. Hits this down the first baseline. Kurtz will tap on first, but that will score another run in the form of hollow back. 2-2 from Johnston. Caught him swinging. Big strikeout. Tellier is familiar with both phases of that, and he takes one right to the shins to put the leadoff man aboard. Payoff here from Davis. Runner goes. They throw down after the strikeout and in safely is Tellier. So runner moves in a scoring position, but there's the first down. Yeah. Reinish slaps it into center. Tellier's coming home. There will be no play at the plate, and Wake gets the insurance. From Nick Davis. Gets him swinging. So the off-speed does the job, but Wake plates insurance. 2-2 to Wene. Hit over to Eze at short. And another error allows a base runner aboard for Wake. They try to check on Williams, and the ball squirts behind. So Williams now in a second, as Ficka has issues fielding the pickoff, and another in scoring position for the Deeks. Grounder over to Eze, and well, you can add another error to the ledger. Tellier, hard hit ball, right over the middle in the center. Williams will score. Wake increases the lead to three runs. Tellier just keeps putting up good at bat after good at bat. Loops this towards center. The grab is made by Eze, and that does it for the inning. Here at David F. Couch Ballpark. A 1-7 straight. This got a piece of Smith, though. It's one of three. A home run was hit by a pitch. Floating in the right. On the move, Reinish makes the grab for the first down. Hard hit ball down the first baseline, and that creeps into the outfield. On the move is Smith. He stands up in a third and a much needed double to put two in scoring position for Georgetown. Savoy coughs it into center and it drops. Smith comes home, and Georgetown's knifed the deficit to two runs. He just fisted that ball into center field. Lofts this into left. Catch made by Wene. The payoff from Falco. Got him looking. Wake moves to a perfect 10 0 at the couch. The Deeks went 11 9 in a thriller here in the midweek.